Hello, Seven Seas Worldwide are experts when it comes to shipping personal belongings and excess baggage all over the way, Herald. We don't pack your belongings for you, that's a, a you thing. But we do offer a range of videos on how to pack your videos safely and securely as possible. And this is one of them. Hello. So, golf clubs and other sporting equipment. Well, the first thing you need to do is keep all your golf clubs in the bag. Obviously. Secondly, purchase a box that can house your golf club bag and all of its contents. You'll notice I said purchase there and not go down to the basement and find the old box that the lawnmower came in. Don't reuse old boxes for anything. One day they may look like this, and the next day they could look like this. See? Don't take the risk. Our advice is to purchase strong, robust cardboard boxes specifically designed for large items like golf clubs. I believe Seven Seas Worldwide sells them. For extra protection against dust and scrapes, we recommend putting each individual golf club into a polythene bag measuring around 120 centimetres long and 15.5 centimetres wide, then wrap each head in bubble wrap. Alternatively, you could insert each golf club into a tube made of foam. You know, whatever, have fun with it. Next, the bag. Now you're going to want to protect the bag itself from knocks and scratches as it's transported from A to B. And why wouldn't you? It's a great bag. It's a marvellous leather thing. So naturally you're going to want to protect the bag itself with um, corrugated paper, scrunched up balls of brown paper or something similar. Then try and pad out the box with polystyrene blocks or those small polystyrene peanutty things that don't actually have an official name. Finally tape up the box as securely as you can and label it with your name, address and handicap. Okay now on to other sporting equipment. Uh, just just do the same as the golf clubs, really. Okay, bye.